the best volleyball teams in Minnesota meet tonight for the Section 5 4A Championship. The number two seed, the Champlain Park Rebels, take on the top seed and three-time defending state champion, White's out of Trojans. From Osseo High School, John Jacobson along with Andy Gugersberg. And Andy, ever since last year, 52 weeks ago tonight when these teams met, we almost could predict this was going to happen again here in 2023, right? Absolutely. No disrespect to the rest of this section, but these are two of the best teams in the state. We knew what they were graduating last year. More importantly, what they were bringing back this year. This one was penciled in for a while. Each of these teams having to win twice, obviously, in the section to get to tonight. Let's look at highlights from last week's semifinals at Wyzetta. They're the top seed. They met Hopkins in the first match. Royals actually played them tough in the first two sets. And even before Wyzetta put it away in the third set and got the sweep. Yeah, it was a good, strong showing from Hopkins, but Wyzetta really just down the stretch. Too big, too strong, too powerful. And in the second set, two seed Champlain Park taking on the three seed Maple Grove. And it was the Rebels in a sweep here. Maple Grove made the second set interesting, but in the end, again, another sweep for Champlain Park to, uh, to set up tonight. Rebels look pretty strong in that night. They absolutely did. You looked at it, you know, the freshman class from Maple Grove is good, but they don't match up with the junior class from Champlain Park. Champlain Park with the sweep to get us to tonight. Look at the bracket in 5-4-A. Waiteta with a three-set sweep of Park Center in the quarterfinals and Champion Park at the bottom of your bracket there, sweeping Spring Lake Park to get to those semifinal matches that we just showed you. So here we get to tonight. Champlain Park's had a terrific season, 24 and 6. Their identical record that they had a year ago, but they are the definite underdog. They know that they're underdog. So they come and lose, right? Nothing to lose. Nobody expects us to win, right? They've got talent. They can do it, but it'll take a super special effort from them tonight. Absolutely. You notice, we noticed when they came in, Wyzetta was in as soon as the court emptied, getting on the court, getting ready to go. Champlin came strolling in a few minutes later. Head coach John Yunker a couple minutes after that, trying to stay relaxed, trying to stay calm. They are definitely the underdog here and are playing with house money as far as they're concerned. For Wyzetta, 30 0 season. Andy, they were unbeaten two years ago. As I mentioned uh, right off the top, they've won state the last three years. And, and they're definitely the favorite, not only tonight, but next week in St. Paul. Absolutely, but that's where you can get tripped up. You start looking ahead to, you know, how does the one seed host in the state tournament? You know, who are they going to draw in the first round? And then suddenly Champlain Park reminds you, you got to get through them before we get to that point. Let's look at our key players tonight. So often we talk about hitters and you know the big swings, and tonight we're going to talk about defense because I think that's a key for tonight, Andy. And we'll look at our libero starting with Champlain Park, Caitlin Erickson. Erickson is just sneaky good. She extends rallies that most people think should end, especially with the offensive power that Wyzetta has. She's just going to have to wear a few balls, extend a few rallies, and wow us a little bit with her defense. Wyzetta's got a lot of players who can play defense, but their libero, Bianca Nister, is having a really good season as well. She is just an anchor. The rest of those hitters can fly around her knowing that the minute something off-speed's coming over the net, B is going to get on top of it and put it right in Swenson's hands so they can run their full gamut of offense. And we're looking forward to this one. Hope you are as well, and thanks for joining us tonight on CCX. The winner on the state in St. Paul starting Wednesday. We'll start set one off. Champlain Park White Zeta, live on CCX from Osseo High School after this. CCX Media, your source for great local programming, is available on Amazon Fire TV, Apple TV, and Roku. Our free app allows you to stream all three of our channels live. You also have access to a large on-demand library, including full sporting events and daily newscasts. To find us, go to the store, search CCX, and download our free app. Then sit back and enjoy all of your favorite local content. The CCX Media app, available on Amazon Fire TV, Apple TV, and Roku. Zeta secures a 
section championship. Wyzetta's undefeated season will continue into St. Paul. A little video recap for you right off the top of the last four section finals in 5-4A that you've been able to see on CCX. Champlain Park winning in 2018. They went on to win state. That was the fifth of their five consecutive state tournament appearances. And then 19, 21, and 22. Wyzetta winning STMA. They beat in the final in 2019 in Champlain Park each of the last two seasons. No tournaments in 2020 because of the pandemic. But it's Wyzetta's uh, section here the last few seasons in Champlain Park <laughs> trying to get back to state again, but uh, uh, the team in blue and gold in their way. Yeah, absolutely. This was that a team is it, it, when they were freshmen in 19, we knew that this group was, or excuse me, when they were coming up in 21, it was right after the pandemic, we knew that they were going to be good for a while here. And this Champlain Park, they're, they're a year behind. Next year, we might be doing this exact same match. Champlain probably going to be the favorite in that one. However, Wyzetta owns this section. They've got three or four kids that are capable of being all state. Um, senior class, very good. Underclassmen, good as well. But there's the man behind the, behind the whole magic. Scott Jackson has his squad playing at a very high level right now. Let's look at the starters for tonight's match and a, a lot of talent, Andy. You talked about the Wyzetta, but obviously some great talent on, on Champlain Park just in general, a little bit younger than, than Wyzetta. Bolter, Adler, Reese, Gilk, Holene, Axness, and Erickson, the libero. Olivia Swenson, Jesuits, Kurth, Kelsenberg, Ava, and Stella Swenson, and Bianca Nister, Nister the uh, libero for Wyzetta. Yeah, just talent everywhere. I, I mean no disrespect. There are, there are, you know, Heslin and Reese and Erickson, all seniors. So this is potentially their last match. That's one of the reasons that I think Erickson is just going to go to that special place that she can go to in this one. We'll see how the seniors do for Champlain Park. But it is such a senior offensive heavy grouping for Wyzetta. We're in for a great one. The fans are all decked out and ready to go. Great site here at Osseo High School. Bill Quan and his crew do a great job of hosting section championship. The 5-3A final was before this one. Monticello beating Big Lake and a huge crowd on hand for this one. We are ready to go. Champlain Park serving. And thanks for tuning in tonight on CCX. The winner goes to state. Avery Chesowitz gets set for the first point of the match. Yeah, Jesuit sees the seam in the deep corner. High reach, strong finish. That's an out-of-system ball. She had a little more trouble with those at the semifinal. Talked to her afterwards, said she just wasn't seeing the ball right. Seems to be in line with it right now. Coley Lackis, the senior veteran team. She's another one that will serve for the Trojans. Spins it in her hand and goes right at Lily Helene. And a block at the net as Gilt gets blocked. Katie Kelsenberg, who I really thought had a terrific semifinal match against Hopkins, gets the block here. Yeah, there's no disguising anything anymore. They're going to send the middle right in front of Gilk just about all day unless one of these other pin hitters can slow, can get a few points past. Ball to the middle, and a mistake on the, trying to get that ball over for Champ on Park, and it's a quick 3-0 lead for the Trojans. John Yunker not wasting any time, pulling Gilk back into the serve-receive pattern. Axness will set it back to Gilk. Too strong. And if you're Champlain Park, you do not want to get into an 0-4 hole to start the match against this club. And that's where they are. Serve-receive kill for Wyzetta and three errors for Champlain Park puts them in this space. Another good serve here, handled well outside to Gill. She goes off the block, and there's the side out they desperately needed. 
Yoku comes into the match leading the team in kills far and away 411th kill of the season for Carly Gill the junior. Rebels fans excited Reese Axness will serve for the first time tonight their great junior setter. Ball State got a good one in her and dials up an ace. In that semifinal, Gilt got her thousandth kill of her career, and uh, they're going to need her for about another 500 here. We'll take a look at this ace again. Yeah, Lacus kind of overran it, took it high on the platform. So two in a row for the Rebels. Back set here. Kelsenberg gets blocked. Dug up nicely by Lacus. Here's Jesuits attacking. The dig by Erickson. They go back to Gilt, pushing a deep corner and finds it. For a point, three in a row here for Champlain Park. Yeah, this whole play starts. Kelsenberg is running the slide, and she is probably the most lethal slide attacker in the state that I have seen this year. Take a look at the beginning of this serve. They serve and slow her down in the pattern, so she has to stutter step, doesn't get everything she wants on it, and that leads to the eventual transition swing for Gilk. Jesuits from Stella Swenson. Couple of kills for the senior, number 17. Otherwise set up by two at 5-3, the end of the three-point Rebels run. <laughs> Avery serving deep, handled by Abel Bolter. Back to the middle, and it's the ball that didn't quite get to Riley Inman, couldn't make the pass. And it's a point for Champlain Park. So some errors for Champlain Park early, Andy, that they'll need to clean up. 6-3 as Jesuit serves. Axness, quick set to the middle. Adler's ball handled nicely there by Lacus. They go back to Olivia Swinson and the senior headed to Minnesota next year gets her first kill of the night. Yeah, Swenson, Swenson to Swenson. We've been hearing it for four years. We're going to hear it for a bunch more. She went over the top of Adler there. That's a tall task, literally. Jesuit's back row handled by Erickson. Axness back set. Gilk with a little tip. Nice ball by play by Nister to get to that ball. We talked about defense in the pregame, Andy. There's an example of it. Bianca Nister digging that ball up and gets her team into a point. Yeah, she handles that tip, reads it well as Gilk kind of slows her arm down. And uh, really good spot there from Stella Swenson on the kill. A three Rebels. Jesuits goes deep again. Axness to the middle, Adler. And it's time off of Lackison out for a point. I feel like Champlain Park was about a point away from their first time out, right? If that's yeah. gone to nine to three. Yeah, especially if it was a bad error. I could have seen John calling one early to calm the nerves here. We'll see what happens. Reese back into the game here. We'll see. Oh, nice serve. Erickson off. Jesuits goes off the tarp back behind the net. Over by Kelsenberg. Wild point here. They attack. Lacus picks up the hit from Inman. Olivia Swenson down. Did it hit the court? I think Bolter thought she, she got that, but rule the point here. We'll take another look at it. Good floor work. It's going to be a tough angle to pick up. I thought that ball was going to get play, killed when it hit the wrestling mat, but apparently that's considered part of the, we got an antenna violation. We'll see when Jeff Krause catches it. Stella Swenson back down the line by Kurth. And Riley Kirk with her first kill. Point for Champ uh, for Wyzetta. They're up 10-4. Yunker can't let this go too much longer. Not in a section final. And Kelsenberg. Oh, got it in for an ace. Bolter <laughs> looked back, but that one drops in. Looked like it might sail wide. Instead, it's, it drops in for an ace serve. That might have caught the outside of the line. Another serve, about the same spot, and this one will drop another eight. And it's 12-4 Trojans. 
Now we get the timeout for Champlin Park. Four or five service aces. Thirteenth year for, excuse me, for John Yonker now. We saw the uh, section final they won here in 2018 on the way to a, a state championship that season. And uh, just had a terrific run at Champlin Park. It's really elevated this program. Yeah, John Yonker is in, synonymous with winning. He's gone a few different places and been highly successful. Really like what he's done with this Champlin Park squad. That team he had that won a state title. Division one player sitting on the bench. That's how deep that team was. But he has battled and battled and battled. And now we'll take a look at Scott Jackson. 25th season at Wyzetta. Started out as a young coach. Was at Armstrong a couple of years. Came over to Wyzetta and going into the Hall of Fame. The night before the state tournament next Tuesday, and, and well deserved for his 500 plus wins he's had. And and against great competition, you know, uh, there's a lot of coaches that have more wins than he does, but not against the level of teams that he has. Look at that last ace serve, and uh, wow, just some trouble for Champlin Park on, on serve receiving and passing in general here early. And they've got to clean that up here. Down eight here in set one. Lily Reese gets involved in the action, but Kelsenberg picked that ball off. Olivia Swenson's ball is not returned in play. And another point for the Trojans. And Kelsenberg and Wysetta on a roll here in set one, 13-4. That one catches Bolter up high, and it goes another race. Sometimes it just kind of hiccups and uh, everything going Wyzetta's way. Bolter having trouble picking up the ball on the serve. It's Axness with the back set to Gilt gets blocked. Picked up by Axness. Erickson over, tip by Inman, and that one drops for a point. Inman finally gets him out of that rotation. Just a freshman, Riley Inman, number 11. Take a look, this one tickles right over Kurth and Swenson and down. 14-5, Gilk back to serve for the first time tonight. She sails one on. When these two met in the regular season, a match we covered here on CCX, Gilk took a little while to get going as well. We'll see if she can get running. The team five. That one's tight to the net. Stella Swenson will float it across. Erickson to the middle. Gilk will push it across. Nice layout on that ball. But back to Stella Swenson, fires it across. Gilk picked that up. Axness to Reese in the middle. And Lily Reese, the senior, puts it away. Just feed Reese. She is doing well right now. A couple swings on four, a couple kills on four swings. Take a look at this one. She kind of hangs a gap there. Really nice swing and a great location. That barely caught the end line. Stella Swenson back across and over. By Lackis. Axness will set up push that Stella Swenson picks up off the attack from Bolter. Gilk with the dig. Now it's Reese gets blocked this time. Go back outside. Bolter cutting it. Touch at the net by Stella Swenson. Axness to Erickson. With a milk to uh, Gilk putting it across from the middle there. Bolter back. Lackis. Back row handled. Stella Swenson with the pickup. Back set. Olivia Swenson across. Erickson with a great defensive play. Over by Kurth. A terrific rally here. In the middle, it's Reese. That one is hit across and out by Jesuits. And Champlin Park earned that point. Absolutely. Great defensive effort on both sides. Good heads up volleyball by Wyzetta. Being calm as the rally extended. But Lily Reese coming downhill to finish it. Swenson's got to run that ball down. This will climb over the net. Tough play at the net. Over by Axness. Olivia Swenson. And Gilk can't get there quick enough. Point Wysetta. First time I've looked at the score in a while. It feels closer than 16-7, to 7, John. It does. Eva Swenson in now. 
for Wysetta, but it'll be Olivia Swenson to serve with her team up nine. Off of Gilk. Erickson back to Gilk, who pushes it across. Stella Swenson, quick set. That one will just crawl across off the hit by Kurth. Gilk attacking, but missed wide. Whole lot of chaos at the net. They take it back row to try and get an out of system swing, and Gilk misses it wide. Liv Swenson serves hard at Gilk. Axness back set to Reese, pounds it home. Lee Reese with two kills here in the first set. But the Rebels are still down nine. That was a nice point. They need a lot of those. At Jesuit, there's one. Service ace. Both of these senior outsides are susceptible to giving up runs off their platform if they can find Jesuits and make her move to her inside. She has more trouble there. Go at her again, picks this ball up. Attack from Eva Swenson. Good pick up by Reese. Bolter gets blocked. That's Eva Swenson, the sophomore, with the block and Eva Bolter. Good eyes here by Swenson. She finds the hitter early. Great close from Kurth, but that was all Eva Swenson. Bianca Nister puts this ball in play. Reese Axness over to Bolter, floats it across, and getting there too late was Stella Swenson. Point Champlain Park. It's 18-10. That tip has scored three times now for Champlain Park. We'll see if they're able to continue that path. Serve is out. Point 19 for Wyzetta here in set one. Lackas in, replacing Eva Swenson. That serve missed, so, oh, called in on the line. The Champlain Parks let a couple go that they thought were going to go out that have been, that have hit line. That one makes it 20 to 10. Good serve, handled by Bolter. Back set, ball pushed deep. Handled by Olivia Swenson. Stella Swenson, the Jesuit, who gets blocked. That's Kat Adler, the junior, number 13, gets the block for a point. Adler so long, gets across so fast, up so quick, really nice blocker. Inman rotates back in for Wyzetta, for Champlain Park, and it'll be serve coming from Axness. Float serve, Mister handled. Well pushed over by Kelsenberg, returned right back. Mister said she'll take this. Gets it to Jesuits, off hands and down. Take a look at the end of this rally. Jesuits kind of snaps a little off the end there in order to find the floor. Ball set by Axis, gets blocked by Wyzetta, and trying to put it away, and doing so is Stella Swenson. Wyzetta catching Champlain Park, scrambling a little bit there, and Stella Swenson, who can certainly attack, just got the size to do it, as well as being the state's best hitter, or setter, rather. Here's Axis with the back set to Gilk across. And wow! So well, laying out to they get that ball was Olivia Swenson, but they couldn't get it over in three tries and side out in the point for Champlain Park. 22-12 here in set one.
Dallas Swenson, quick set to the middle, and Kelsenberg will get the kill. Kelsenberg in front of the setter this time. Typically, she runs behind, does a really good job there getting up quick and getting that ball through the block. Take a look. Comes in front and then throws it around the block. Back set, Gilk across. This one up in the air, played by Jesuits. And nicely over by Olivia Swenson. Axness goes back to Gilk, down the line, but missed. And it's set point for Wyzetta. That's five points they've missed by a total of four inches, I think, John. They are barely missing on those ends. But another point to Wyzetta. They've got set point and 12 to burn. Kelsenberg trying to close it out. Quick set to the middle by Reese. And Champlain Park stays alive. Wonder if Yunker's going to spin it to start Reese in the four in set two. She's definitely been the offensive go to for the Rebels here. Kira Bellison, sophomore number eight, in for Champlain Park as Gilk serves. They go to Olivia Swenson. Gilk, this will have to be over by Reese, and it is. Mr. Destella Swenson off of Erickson's hands. From the middle, Gilk attacking, and off a Blackus for a point. Two in a row for Champlain Park. Gilk getting downhill on that one, a much needed kill for her to get rolling. So Swenson in the middle, and Riley Kerf puts away Set one, 25-14 Trojans. It felt a lot closer than 25-14, but Wyzetta definitely in control throughout the entire set and uh, looking like they're playing the type of volleyball that's got them to this point as an undefeated team. Well, the Rebels, the underdog, but they have beaten the Trojans before. Took a set off them earlier this season and then beat them last year in the last in the, a match that we saw over at the Champlain Park, the Rebels win, so they're capable of doing it. They've got the personnel, and will they be able to rally here tonight to beat this White set of team? Set one in the books. More from Osseo after this. Wysetta wins 25-14 in set one, the section 5-4A championship tonight at Osseo High School. We teased it coming out of uh, set one in Champlain Park. Beat Wysetta, yes they can. They took one set off of them the, earlier this season and then took a match from them. Last year took a set from them actually in a tournament this year as well. They were the last team to beat Wysetta even in a set this season. That was late September, but the Rebels and they'll know they can do it, but they're going to have to clean it up, play better than they did set one. Yeah, the server receive's got to get better. The service pressure's got to get higher. Uh, I didn't think they missed that many serves. They missed like three serves by four inches. That's okay. They've got to serve like that. They've got to put that kind of pressure on Wyzetta or Stella Swenson, two-time Gatorade player of the year for the state of Minnesota, can run offense if you don't make everything really uncomfortable for her. So 1-0 Wainsetta with Bianca Nister to get us started in set two. Back set, push over the net. Wainsetta keeps it alive. Jesuits, back row handled. Here's Gilk with the attack off Nister. Champlain Park gets the first point of set two. You remember the first set, Wainsetta started with four in a row and never looked back. So the first lead tonight for Champlain Park at one nothing. Axis to serve for the Rebels. 
Back to that still a Swenson and pounded by Eva Swenson for a point. Bolter be a big forgot. part of this team <laughs> next year, right? Absolutely. Bolter forgot Eva Swenson was in the front row. Blocked down on Kelsenberg, and uh, it's a one-on-none. Gilk handling the serve from Lackis. Now they go to Gilk, pushing it deep corner and gets it for a point. That is the game plan. If you're going to beat this Wyzetta team, you can't hit at them. You've got to attack the deep corners that Swenson and Jesuits are responsible for. Two one Rebels, Erickson to serve. Back off of Blackus, and that'll be an ace. Quick 3 1 lead here. We'll take another look at this serve. Lackis doesn't get her hips behind it, takes it off her platform and out. Float serve. Lackis handles this one. Stella Swenson back to Kelsenberg, and she catches the back corner for a point. Tried to execute that short serve to slow Kelsenberg down, but it went too deep, basically making it a free ball. Jesuits, good dig there by Erickson. Here's Lily Reese attacking. Stella Swenson, Kelsenberg pushes it. Ball tipped at the net, Reese couldn't get it over. Three three here in set two. Twenty five fourteen win for the Trojans to start the night. Back set to Gilk. Holds oh. it home. Super cuts open late as Gilk takes that one off the hands of Stella Swenson. Nola Hader Harrelson, number 10, a junior in for the Rebels. Gilk serves. Here's the attack from Olivia Swenson. She's really good. <laughs> she's, you know, and, and she's she's gotten so much better at all facets of the game. Always been a powerful attacker, has put shots, has put defense, has put ball control on it. And now her shot selection is from so much higher than anybody else blocks. Ball flipped over by Inman. Here's Jesuits attacking. Good layout by Gilk. Axness goes back to Inman, floats it back row. Jesuits, Stella Swenson will dump it over. Rebels can't handle it. The transition move there, catching Axness kind of on her heels a little bit. So, so crafty with that dump. Kelsenberg, good serve off of Inman. Oh, and then Loisetto with a rare error at the net. Looks like they made put away that overpass instead a little too eager and missed it. Swenson saw what was open but didn't quite go high enough to get it there. 5-5 five, five, Lily Helene Junior DS will serve it here. Back row Jesuits Stella Swenson across to Olivia off hands so get toward the floor yep, unable to Get it over was Holeen, despite a great effort there on that dig attempt. Lysetta's in front. Stella Swenson back to serve. Great serve by Swenson, but Gilt picks it up. Over by Bolter. That's a layout by Stella Swenson. Over by Olivia Swenson. Axtis dumps it over. Point for the Rebels, ties it at six. Line judge had that ball over the antenna, flat, snapped it early. Jeff Krause saw it, ignored it, thought had a better line on it. I agree with Jeff on that call. Reese serving, back row, Nister. Stella Swenson back to Olivia. 
Stealth picks it up. Axness pushed deep by Adler. Stella Swenson back and block on the attack from Lackus and put away by Champlin Park. Yeah, I think Lackus was already going to cover Jesuits there, wasn't expecting that ball. She's played with Stella long enough to know that she's going to make the unexpected set. Stella Swenson to the middle, pushed over by Olivia. Attack and the point. Oh, no, no missing was Adler. Found the spot she wanted to go to, just missed it by a couple of inches. Another heavy swing from the lefty middle there. See if we get a repeat here. Liv Swenson to serve, tied at seven and set two. Axis chases this ball down over by Bolter, too strong. Eight, seven Trojans. Maybe Swenson, Erickson had to lay out for that ball. Here's Gilk from the middle attacking, but right into the net. Mini run here for the Trojans. It's 9 7. Good serve by Swenson. The Holine axis to the middle and pushed wide on the swing from Adler. Couldn't find the courts. A couple of errors here for Champlin Park. And the Trojans lead by three. See how the juniors respond here. Back deep. Gilk handled it. They'll go back to Carly Gilk. Mister of the pickup, Stella Swenson to Avery Jesuits. Another point for Wysetta. 11-7 Trojans. Junker looking at his book of secrets, seeing how he's going to get out of this rotation. Olivia Swenson serving. Another one up. Bolter too strong. And now just some, now just some hitting errors. Wait a minute. Errors. Unforced error, but we had Swenson in the net. And it'll be a point, point for, for the Rebels. Park. Yeah. So, big point for the Rebels. It's 11 8 down the line, and that missed. Trying to. And there was got a previous her. point. Yeah, she had her belly in the net there, was the call. Right there. Great camera work with our net cam again. 12 8. Good serve by Nister. Reese Axness to Carly Gilt. Picked up by Stella Swenson. Avery Jesuits, back row, Bolter. Axness across oh, to fun. Gilt, gets blocked. Gilk again, and point wide Zeta. Missed wide on the tip shot. Carly Gilk, 13-8 timeout, Champlin Park. Yeah, timeout, Champlin Park. They're going to talk about how they're going to change things up here. But what we have in this play, if we can get another look at it, is we'll take a look at this. The ball gets served. Axness is going to set. Setters are on the, right, on the right side, but they switch it here so that Gilk can Adler can block Jesuits. They pass left. Axness sets Gilk back on the right side. Didn't fool them. Another ball to Ax or to Gilk, and this time it goes into the antenna. John Yunker's teams are always capable of just adjusting on the fly. It's something they practice just in case an opportunity like this presents itself. That's something you're not going to see often. We want to thank Chanticleer of Maple Grove for sponsoring our coverage tonight. Chanticleer Pizza and Grill in Maple Grove. Troy Nygaard and the great staff there. They've got open for breakfast now on weekends, 9 to 1. I had went over there a couple weekends ago, had the Eggs Benedict. Fabulous. Can't Fabulous. wait. And Dragon's Lair axe throwing, a separate part of that location will open up 
hopefully in December. They're very excited about that. I got a preview of that spot. They used to be a rainbow food, so there's a lot of room oh, back sure, behind sure. where the actual restaurant is. And Dragon's I know exactly left. what you're talking about now. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Behind, uh, right next to near the old, where the old Target was in Maple Grove. Anyway, thanks for them for their sponsorship tonight of live volleyball from Osseo. And another point for White out of the timeout. Champlin Park scrambled, couldn't get it over in three hits. And 14-8 now, White Zeta. They were trailing by one point a couple of times and now on a White Zeta like roll. Yeah, it's an 8-1 run here from what I can remember. I think they were uh, they were down 7-6. This is off of Gilk and there's another point. They absolutely were, yeah. Now 9-1 run. And it's not it's not that the players that are struggling right now aren't used to this kind of pressure and this kind of stress. Gilk has been in a pressure cooker before. Mr. Off to Holine. Gilk gets it back to the middle and pushed over by Axis. Nice play by the Rebels. Ball on the overpass handled by the Trojans. Back set here over by Eva Swenson. Axness back to Gilk. Handled back roll by Olivia Swenson. Stella all the way across for Jesuits. And point for White Zeta. That was close to the antenna. I was waiting for a moment. I thought it might have gone off the antenna, but caught, was inside of it and goes down for a point. Uh, Jesuits playing some of her best volleyball I've seen her play here in this section final, really coming out. Eight point White Zeta lead. Ball backed up, but Adler got it across. Here's Avery Jesuits again. A dig from the back row from Bolter. Here's Gilk attacking. Olivia Swenson picks it up. Over by Kelsenberg. Axness with a good quick first contact. Gilk across. Nice layout by Stella Swenson. Back to Jesuits. Off hands over by Axness. who got it down. That was a great point. Here we see it off the block. Axness just heads up, open corner, much needed side out. Axness back to serve at 16-9. Was trailed by seven. Stella Swenson back to Eva Swenson. That ball goes out. Point wide set Eva Swenson out, Chloe Lackis back in. You like number 12, and she doesn't get on the court. Uh, she's not a six rotation player this year, but she's very effective when she's out, out there. Right, big body, able to swing, does some really nice off-speed things as well. Great effort from Lackis there. Good pick up on that ball. Here's Erickson. Over to Gilk. Cross cut. And there's a point for Champlain Park. Killed for the junior. Verbally committed to the University of Minnesota. Well, she'll join the, Stella, the Swenson sisters, Stella and Olivia, one year behind them. Great Big Ten volleyball, Minnesota, Wisconsin on national TV the other day, Andy. We can talk more about that at a timeout. Jesuits misses on this swing here into the net. Uh, that's an out of system error which she always wishes she had back. We've talked about it time and time again. She just wants to put that ball into the deep corner looking for another opportunity. Smile on her face. She'll get another one. Rebels need to run a point here, though, trailing 17-11. Stella Swenson down for, but you can never quite defense for that, even though you no. know it might come at any point. She disguises it so well, like, yep. she's going to set the ball outside, and then, no, I'm not going to. <laughs> Side out and a point for White's out of 18-11. Chesowitz serves. Quick set to Reese, gets blocked. Axis will go back to Gilk. Harley Gilk gets blocked. Oh, White Zeta's been really solid along the net tonight, Andy. Yeah, they're 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 big everywhere. They, I don't think they, I think they have one player under 6'2 that goes in front of the 10 foot line, and all of them jump really well. Their hands get far across the net. It's a tough task to hit past this block. Gilk will push this one over. They'll set up this time to Stella Swenson and back into play and Trojans unable or Rebels unable to recover there. Another White's at a point, another timeout. 
with John Yonker. We're at 20 to 11. And he was starting to talk about three of the girls on this court are going to play Big Ten volleyball in Minnesota. And we saw Minnesota, Wisconsin Sunday on Fox. At Fox would draw a really nice audience. Yeah, largest televised audience ever for a volleyball match at 1.1 million viewers, they believe. It was really cool after watching our Vikings take care of the Packers, even though the Gophers didn't come out on the right side of it. That Wisconsin team is doing so many cool things. Uh, CCX alum uh, Izzy Ashburn just smooth delivering the ball across her three rotations. Well, I said it's been terrific tonight, but uh, they're terrific and recognized nationally, Andy. As it's Champlain Park here in the region. Yeah, we, we talked about it. We talked about it uh, last game. To be the number eight team in the country, in a state that doesn't allow you to cross state lines to play volleyball. So it's just on legend because they don't know how they compare to Breeze Modern Day out of Indiana. They have no idea how they compare to Assumption out of Louisville. They have no idea how they compare to Miracosta in California and all those other teams. And so just the sheer volume and scores they're putting up is what has them as number eight in the country. Jesuit serving out of the timeout and another ace for Wyzetta. They've had Quite a few here tonight. The senior delivers one to make it 21-11. Rebel uh, Trojans. Rebels. Erickson a little late to that ball. Hard to pick up depth on this serve. She touches it so high. Maxis to the middle. Reese over. Ball tipped at the net. Trojans keep it alive. Over by Olivia Swenson. Back row handled by Bolter. Stella Swenson will dump it across. Rebels are ready for this one. Back row Jesuit, Stella Swenson across. Olivia Swenson pounds it home for a kill. A little mustard behind that swing from Olivia. Yeah, great finish to this rally. Into the deep corner from Olivia Swenson. Jesuit serve, Erickson. Maxness back to Gilkin over. Handled by Bolter. Jesuits got up to that ball. Maxness to Reese. Stella Swenson, quick set over by Kelsenberg. Everything Wyzetta wants to do, they are doing right now, and it's 23 11. Now, that slide attack that Kelsenberg has been using all year, they've only set her on that twice, but they're keeping her in front, and she's pretty lethal in the front now, too. Uh-oh. Kelsenberg got that ball. Wait, Erickson flew across to get to that. Inman over. At the net. Trying to throw it over there was Inman. Why well, is that a handles it and they return it for a point? Every time you think Champlain Park's made a really good play, why well, is that a Digging a lot tonight, really well. And like that was a chaos play where where Chamblin Park tried to do some untraditional stuff, and Ch and Wyzetta just said, "No, this is how you do untraditional and finish the rally here." Set point. Maxness back to Gilk, over to the net, play there, Mister Olivia Swenson. Maxness to the middle, Erickson, uh -oh. and that won't get to the net and. Wysetta, after falling behind very early, gets rolling after down seven to six. They come back and outscore Champlain Park 19 to four down the stretch. Great quick match there, that John. Guy. That was Look fun to watch you. Again. That's good. Yeah, 19-4 run to finish the set. Everything Wysetta touches turn into gold right now. The Swensons, all three of them having great matches. Jesuits, unreal. Uh, so so much good volleyball. We haven't even mentioned Bianca Nister very much. She's just been so steady as well. Rebels huddling right now. Need to kind of reset, regroup, and see if they can come back and get something going here for set three. Trojans one set away from getting the state. They're excited. They're up 2-0 on Champlain Park. Section 5-4A volleyball continuing on CCX after the break.
CCX Media, your source for great local programming, is available on Amazon Fire TV, Apple TV, and Roku. Our free app allows you to stream all three of our channels live. You also have access to a large on-demand library, including full sporting events and daily newscasts. To find us, go to the store, search CCX, and download our free app. Then sit back and enjoy all of your favorite local content. The CCX Media app, available on Amazon Fire TV, Apple TV, and Roku. Wyzetta fairly easily winning both sets tonight, 25-14, 25-11. John Jacobson, Andy Gugersberg back with you for the 2023 Section 5 for a title game. And Wyzetta one set away from getting back to state as they look to make it a four-peat in the big class volleyball in Minnesota. Yeah, it's kind of like uh, somebody mentioned when the Twins won their playoff series that I'd never, no one had ever tweeted it. Well, it wasn't even Twitter. No one else has ever won a 4A title. That's how long that's right. that has it been was, dominant. Yeah, it used to be 3A until they added the extra class a few years ago. Tell Swenson to Katie Kelsenberg got that block back at her. Access outside to Gilk. Here's Mister picking it up. They'll go back. Will be Swenson going downhill with that swing. Colleen and over by Erickson. Back set, Kelsenberg gets blocked, but shot goes wide. The block uh, missing, and it's 2 0 Wysetta. Chloe Lackis to serve, back row handled by Bolter. Here's Axness setting up Gilk. Got it in for a point. Sometimes we overthink it as coaches. Just leave Gilk on the left side, let her go bang out there. That's the rotation that they had been switching her and Axness. Leave her out there on the left for one and let her get her swing. Axness serving at Lekas and off of her. Yeah, it's 2 2. Sometimes it goes that way in service. Steve Lackis having a little bit of trouble today looking at. Assistant coach Carly used to be Hauer. Trying to figure out how she should get behind that one a little differently. This time Nister picks it up. Stella Swenson back to Kelsenberg and slides it across for a point. Katie Kelsenberg, the junior. Middle, she'll be back next year. Jesuits, too strong. Oh, got it in for ace. Every time, I shouldn't call it before I see it. I, my eyes say that's too long, but it's in, it catches the back line for a point. I tell you what, <laughs> it might be something in the water because the Champlain Park students are with you. They're, all of their athletes have agreed with every one of those calls you made, and they've all been off by just a little bit. Gilkercross. I could read that one as too strong. <laughs> See, I thought it caught the block, so. <laughs> blind leading the blind here, John. 5-2, Wyzetta. Serve from Jesuits. A good one, Gilk. Point to at the net, the little 50-50 ball won by the Trojans. Everything that we talked about in the, in the pregame or off air before that Needed to go right for Champlain Park, just has it tonight, right? They needed yep. to play the top of their game and needed Wysetta to be a little off. That serve notwithstanding, notwithstanding. yeah. It's been just the yeah. flip, the opposite of that. Yeah, it, it, it's scary because Wysetta, Wysetta is one of the best teams in the state when they're not playing well. When they're playing like this, it's an unfair advantage. Erickson will serve off the uh, side out. Stella Swenson back to Kelsenberg, and she misses. So back-to-back -back hitting errors here for the Trojans. So we start to give them some love, and then make it, <laughs> Rebels make it 6-4. Erickson to serve, the senior. 
not wanting this to be the way to go out for her career. And it's been a good one. Marcus handles back row. Back to Kelsenberg again. Erickson to Axness. Back by Gilt. Pounds it. Good pickup by Lackis. Got it all the way across to the back row to Bolter. Here's Reese. Off hands. Stella Swenson. Quick set over by Kelsenberg. Picked up by Erickson. To Gilk. Pounds it. Another good pickup by Lackis. Kelsenberg will push a deep corner for a point. Everything the Rebels threw at Wyzetta. Trojans handled specifically Coley Lackis with some really nice defensive plays. Yeah, great dig. She wears that one off the shoulder. And then Kelsenberg, noticing she's got room in the one, pushes it. Kelsenberg has really been effective serving tonight. Puts this one in play. Reese misses. 8-4. Wyzetta. Yeah, Reese trying to be too specific right there. Probably needs to just put that one in a corner to live to fight another day. Oof. That serve into the net by Kelsenberg, 8-5. Bellison, number eight, back in for the Rebels. Gilk serving. Jesuits laid out for that ball. Axness to Reese. Stella Swenson pushing it. Gilk runs that down. Bellison across. Stella Swenson, a good pickup. Back to Ooh. Swenson. And Stella Swenson with the kill. Might be her fourth or fifth of the night here. She's having a pretty good night as an attacker, is the best setter in the state. We'll take another look here. She takes the first one, transitions hard. They get it back to her, and the block can't get in front of it. Good serve. Picked up by Erickson. Inman, and good block at the net. Kurth for Whitezetta. Just great vision here from the block. Stella Swenson serving at 10-5. Missed her to Olivia Swenson and missed on this one. Side out for Champlin Park. Helene and Bolter will check back in for the Rebels. Rebels trailing by four here in the third set, having lost the first two. 25-14 and 25-11, Olivia Swenson. Gets the kill. It's a side out. Ava Swenson will check back in, replacing Lacus. And it'll be Liv Swenson back to serve. Eleven six Wyzetta. Gilk attacking. Great layout by Stella Swenson. Jesuits too much. Rebels trailing by four. Down 2-0 with three serving. To Swenson, to Olivia Swenson. Not to lean off her feet. Down for a point. Big swing from the back row. She didn't have a great match when these teams played in September either, right? No, she did not. Uh, both, pin, both future gopher pins struggled a little bit in that match. Uh, Wyzetta was carried by their middle play. Bolter, back row. Olivia Swenson, Stella Swenson, and over by Eva Swenson. Got them all in. Here's Gilk. Too much. Wyzetta at 13, 12 points away from state. Know that they're in rotation. Ball from the middle, and that missed on the swing from Adler. There we go. 14 7, Wyzetta. Yeah. 
This drill floated. Ball in the middle, push deep, back row. Olivia Swenson, Stella to Kelsenberg, who pounds it across. Bolter with the swing, gets blocked. Eva Swenson along with Katie Kelsenberg at the net. Timeout, Champlin Park. We're going to take a look at what Olivia Swenson is capable of doing. We've talked about her attacking. We've talked about her defense, and she just does it from everywhere here. We'll go back. This is at St. Michael. She takes that ball high cross court. And we come a little bit more on the inside. She takes that one down the line. That time, even sharper cross. Now we're going to run her into the middle here out of rotation one. Again, abusing the block, gets set again, changes her shot. All, the way they talk about it is she's got a lot of arrows in her quiver. That one, she goes over the block, over a block of Adler, which is nothing to really shake your head at. She also can hit from the right side. We didn't get any in that clip, but we've seen her a few times tonight from the back row. You can't defend her in just one area of the net. Long story, not quite so long. And she's all <laughs> smiles because of it. And you talked about earlier about how good she is in all facets over here, how much she's improved in all facets, not just a hitter. She's a, a solid defensive player now, too. Back to live action here. Jesuits off of Gilk in the back row. Bolt drill, spin it across. Stella Swenson to the middle. Wow. Helsenberg. Some anger behind that, it seemed like. <laughs> Gap set open for her as Axness on the right side didn't quite see it, hear it, or move in for it. Something. 16 7, Wyzetta. This rolling again here in the third set. Axness over. Mister handled it. Oh, Kelsenberg had to adjust on that ball. Now Stella Swenson will push a deep corner. Gilk lays it out. Axness gets to it. 50 50 ball. One at the net by Adler. Terrific play by Champlin Park to get that back in to a spot where Catherine Adler could hit it. I'll tell you what, it's 16 to 7, but the Rebels don't seem to care. They're still playing hard volleyball here. That was their eighth point as Bolter serves. Olivia Swenson to Stella Swenson. Eva Swenson picked up by Erickson. Back to Erickson. She'll push it over. Bolter up to Stella Swenson. Back set to Eva Swenson. Hit it. Axness oh. over to Gilk. And drops it in. Got it in front of Nister for a point. 16-9. Really good play there. Axness out of system, chucking it out to Gilk. Nister's going to probably take about 60% of this court on serve receive. Off of Olivia Swenson, Nister recovers and Jesuits gets it over. Axness to Gilk, and she gets blocked. Yeah, it was Eva Swenson. Eva and the Kelsenberg were both there. Yeah, the, it was a nice little trick play if the eyes of the Wyzetta block aren't working. But they were, and there were four hands eagerly waiting for that inverted slide from Gilk. Lack of serve. Erickson to Axness. Over to Gilk. To sent back at her. They'll set to Gilk again. Gets pounded. Block, back roll, Olivia Swenson, Stella Swenson to Kelsenberg, and got it in. Katie Kelsenberg with authority. And Wyzetta now can sense it. They're seven points away. Maybe good for a while, but right. you just room, really get the feeling now. Room, room for some <laughs> errors, too, if they happen to run into it. 18-9, Laka serves. To Gilk. Oh, blocked by Stella Swenson. Timeout, Champlain Park. This is not the Rebels team no. that we've seen all season. They're a much better team than what they've showed tonight. But Wyzetta, like you said, they're just playing. They're at the top of their game tonight. It's it's one of those things where when you when you see a team hit flow state where everything just slows down for them. That's what we are watching in Wyzetta right now. They are ahead of the Champlin Park offense. They've got four hands in front of everything that 
Axness is setting, whether it be Gilk, whether it be Adler, whether it be Reese, no matter who is getting the ball, they've got a four-hand block in front of them here. Let's look at the recent history of the last half dozen seasons in Section 5, Champlain Park beating STMA. That was a terrific match in, uh, in that section final. Rebels went on to the state tournament again. 2018, they swept the Trojans and won state that season. The, as I mentioned, the fifth of five straight Champlain Park appearances at state, but it's been wise out of sense. Three straight against STMA and then beating at Champlain Park here and on their way to another trip to the state tournament. Out of the timeout, up in the rafters. That's still a live ball and over by Nister. Back set. Adler, Lackis gets a hand on that. Attack from Jesuits. Off hands. And again, Wyzetta just everything going right for them tonight. That ball played off of the rafters and the basketball hoop and everything that's up above us. And they turn it into a point. 20 to 9, Wyzetta. Lackis back to serve. At Gilk. Across to Gilk from Axness. Pushes it over. Stella Swenson uh -oh. for Jesuits. Nice pickup back. Roll by Bolter. And Erickson can't run it down. Erickson had the length on it. She just picked a bad angle. I thought she was going to get to that second touch. 20 to 9. And again, this match, this season was going to be Wyzetta's. Chamlin Park not giving up at all. They're still fighting it here. Over by Lackis. Axness back over by Adler, and that one's picked up by Nister. No. Yeah! Point for Champlain Park. Inman back in for the Rebels. It's Axness back to serve. We've talked about Reese Axness this year, Andy. If it weren't for Stella Swenson, we'd talk about Reese Axness as. One of the top set, well, she still is one of the top setters in the state, but right. Stella Swenson yeah. comes first in that conversation, right? Reminds me back when Kennedy Orr was like 11. I was talking with Brady Starkey, the head coach at Concordia, and his daughter was also same age and was like, my daughter's terrible. Well, that daughter is Tegan Starkey, who is the starting setter for Concordia St. Paul, but you're just comparing her apples to, to oranges. Orr. Right, yeah. exactly. Stella Swenson to Avery Jesuits, and another white set of point. Closing in, two points away now at 23-10. Jesuits floats this serve. Gil Cup on him, Axness over by Adler. Mister, a good layout. Olivia Swenson off hands, and it's match point. Little off speed, hard cut to get us to match point. Put that on your bingo board. She is hitting them all. 24 10 Trojans. Jesuits, back row handled by Gilk. Gil here, I'll push it across. Mister, Della Swenson to Olivia Swenson. It's a four-peat for Wyzetta. The Trojans are heading back to the state tournament. Wyzetta has left no doubt throughout the entire season that they were the best team in the state. And right now we know for certain they're the best team in this section as they have punched their ticket to the XL Energy Center again. So they'll go to the state tournament that starts Wednesday for the Class 4A schools. They will be the number one seed, Andy, and you and I will be courtside at XL Wednesday the 8th at uh, 1 p.m. for that matchup against an unseeded team. That's the seed for the state tournament this weekend. Yeah, it, they've, they've, got, they've got a path. They've had their path figured out for a very long time. This team is just playing at a level that you don't see high school athletes play at. They're clean, they're calm, they're collected. There isn't a 
scare in them. In talking with some coaches about what this team's about, one of our, one of our dear friends, uh, one of Scott and my dear friends, jokingly said, all Scott's got to do is make sure the lineup has the right numbers on it. This team can take care of itself. That may be true on game day. Scott gets them ready for it, keeps them where they need to be, gets everything ready to go. And this way, a team earned that undefeated spot into the state tournament. Let's look at match point again, Andy, as uh, Wyzetta just clean all night and solid all night and finishes it off here 25-10 in set three. We talked about Swenson hitting from a variety of space as she comes in to hit the three ball, finds the edge of Gilk, and this is one of my favorite moments in volleyball, the dog pile after they win. No matter how many times you've won it, it's not it's not going to get old, right? No, because not, not everybody not a, was on this team last right, year. Right, absolutely. Right, so yeah, new experience for some of them. Yep. Really exciting to see how things shake out, what when they're going to run into who. Some of the other teams are starting to punch their ticket tonight and tomorrow as well. Uh, Rogers has a really good squad. They may come in unseated because they don't play a lot of other big teams. That could be their first match. If so. There's a, there's a couple kids on the other side of the net that have something to say about this undefeated team. The medal presentation going on right now. Champlin Park receiving their uh, section runner-up medals. And we touched on them late in that match. This team will finish 24 and 7, Andy, but really didn't show their best volleyball. I don't know that it would have mattered, but they, they, they're a better team than, than, than the 35 points they put up tonight. Yeah, you you wouldn't you wouldn't have guessed if you just if this is the only match you've watched of yeah. Champlain Park, you don't think they're a very good volleyball team. Not we true. know different. <laughs> right. We know different. I, I it reminds me back when Penn State went on their run and they won four straight national championships. They had one game. The Gophers used to play one game at Williams Arena, and it happened to be against that Penn State team. And Penn State won like this is back when it was to 30, like 30 to 10, 30 to 9, 30 to 7. And everybody's like, the Gophers are terrible. They went to the Elite Eight that year. They just played Penn State when Penn State was looking like Wyzetta at the college level. So. And a lot of these players, as we mentioned, will come back next year and mm -hmm. uh, and be part of a, a Champlain Park team that, that it should be in this section final again in 2024. Absolutely. And, and you know, we talked about the fight this team had throughout the match. No matter what the score was, they were all going all out all the time. Nothing but respect for these two coaches, for these two teams. Really, really well done. Yeah, great, uh, great season for the Rebels and Coach John Yonker and his uh, his staff for to get them to this point to, to play here tonight against Wyzetta. Right, and and what John went through in the off season yes. as well. You don't for, you forget about those little things. This team, there's so much history between these two teams, and these kids play club volleyball together. They play club volleyball against each other. You know, they've they've been around together for a very long time. There's nothing but respect as we see the coaches. Uh, now getting their medals, the excitement and love that they have for each other as well. Coach Danielle Bailey and then uh, Coach John Yonker will be the last one. And they had a health scare back in, in January and great support from the volleyball community to help uh, raise some money for, for John to pay his bills. And he and Scott really close to off the court as the rivals tonight, but they're, they're close friends. And Bill Kwan here who runs the site, former Osseo coach, and now the AD there uh, giving John congratulations on, on a great season. And now Wysetta will get their medals and uh, championship trophy after Champlain Park received their runner-up trophy a moment ago. So we'll stay up for this. We'll hear from the Trojans here in a few minutes. And, uh, a well-deserved section title. They're 31 and 0. Andy, last set loss was September 28th against Champlain Park. Yeah, if you if you can go five weeks without <laughs> dropping a set, you're probably doing something right. And they were doing everything right tonight. This this team, I want to I want to talk to Scott and see what his attackers hit for. It felt like they were hitting over 400 for the night. There wasn't a, a, a great defensive effort, but when they're above the block and hitting with the pace that the Trojans are. It just doesn't matter. Getting some updates from around the state. Looks like Minnetonka might be punching their ticket. Another familiar opponent for this Wyzetta team. Stella Swenson will get her medal. And, and you know, the, the girls that didn't see the court tonight or don't see it a lot, 
they put in the effort at practice. They've got to defend against the girls and put up the scout team, so to speak. And and make it's it's not just the six, seven, eight girls we saw tonight on the court. It's it's all 18 who are addressed here this evening. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if one of these one of these players had to play. Carly Gilk. If there's a lefty on this team somewhere, they probably put her up on a box in a variety of different spots and just let her swing away so that they so that Wyzetta could figure out how to defend her. State tournament again starting on Wednesday and then continuing on Thursday for the 4A schools and then uh, a day off for the teams that are advancing in the state championship a week from Saturday at 7 p.m. at XL Energy. And I would be surprised, nothing guaranteed, if this Wyzetta team's not in that final. Yeah, that's 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 a safe bet. It's, it's rare in the betting world right. that you don't take the field. I wouldn't take the field in 4A. Wyzetta versus the field, I'm going to take Wyzetta and put my money there. These, this team is, is special. We've seen number one seeds go down in the state tournament, even in the first round. It's not often, but we have seen it. And uh, it could happen this year. It's going to be pretty unlikely. As we see Kelsenberg, the fantastic middle blocker, get her award. Well, here we talked about some of these kids that, that didn't play. Fish had a horrific injury early. Um, has been a great teammate, great support for the rest of the Wyzetta Trojans and everybody really rooting for her or whatever she does next. Assistant Trojan assistant coaches will get there. The medals now, Bree Schwartz and Coach Howard. And then uh, Scott Jackson. He's got talent, but he's a terrific coach. Yeah, I mean, to say the least. For you know, we talk about Champlin went for five years. Well, for part of that time, Wyzetta was in a different section because Wyzetta had a pretty nice run of going to the state tournament themselves as well. Man, the Trojans get their section championship trophy. Another one to put in the uh, trophy case at Wyzetta. And they head to state 30, 1-0. They'll get the obligatory team picture. <laughs> we'll go in the uh, state tournament program, and mom and dad can get the pictures and, and all that. So congratulations to Wyzetta. We're going to hear from the Trojans. And another thank you to Shanna Clear. Pizza and Grill in Maple Grove for their support of tonight's match and for their terrific support of high school athletics throughout the northwest suburbs. Shanna Clear Pizza and Grill in Maple Grove. We will take another timeout. We'll come back. Our post game on the way next from Osseo as we wrap up coverage of the Section 5 championship after this. CCX Media, your source for great local programming, is available on Amazon Fire TV, Apple TV, and Roku. Our free app allows you to stream all three of our channels live. You also have access to a large on-demand library, including full sporting events and daily newscasts. To find us, go to the store, search CCX, and download our free app. Then sit back and enjoy all of your favorite local content. The CCX Media app, available on Amazon Fire TV, Apple TV, and Roku. Wyzetta Volleyball headed back to the state tournament in Class 4A. They sweep Champlin Park tonight and are now 31 at 0. Welcome back to Osseo High School. John Jacobson joined by Katie Kelsenberg and Avery Jesuits. And Avery, is this as good as you guys can play? You were solid all night. I mean, yeah, we all just did our jobs, and that's really it. We played as a team. We each worked hard, and it was just, I mean, that's what we've been working for all year and waiting for all the pieces to click like that, and it was just so much fun to see it all come together tonight. Good time to do it, Ren. Yeah, absolutely. The best time to do it. You played Champlain Park during the season. What did you feel, and you won that match, what did you feel like you needed to do even better here tonight that you did execute against them? I feel like last time we were playing really tense. You know, we um, we know they're a great team. We know that they're going to battle back. And I think last time we really just 
got a little nervous and kind of got into our own heads a little bit. And we were really just like hurting ourselves in the first game. And today we just, we said, you know, we got nothing to lose right now. Let's just go out, play, and get another week together. Your last go around, it's just as exciting this time as this, and maybe yeah. more so as a senior? I mean, it's always exciting, but it'll be fun to potentially cap off um, my senior year and the rest of the seniors' years um, on a good note. So, Congratulations. Go enjoy this one. We'll see you next week. Thank you so much. Katie Kelsenberg, I thought you had a terrific match here tonight. Talk about your play and your team's play tonight. Yeah, well, I would just say it really comes down to our practice and preparation. We put in a lot of time, a lot of hours trying to figure out what Champlain Park's going to do, trying to figure out how we're going to beat them. And I just think like our energy and effort and my teammates really helped me play well. You know, when I'm having a good night, it's usually because my teammates got my back. So, yeah. I asked Avery this. Is this as well as you guys have played in a match this season? Oh, uh, yeah, I'd say just about. We pretty much had everything working for us tonight. So it was really good to see. Yeah. You go back to state next year. Almost all of you have experience being at XL. How much does that help just that you've got that championship pedigree? I think it helps a lot because last year I know I was really nervous kind of going into state and now like knowing kind of the feeling and like how to stay calm and collected and ready to play. I think that will help us have a better chance at getting another state title. So, yeah. You're going for the four Pete next week. How much fun is that just to think about? It's awesome. It's beyond what I could ever imagine playing high school volleyball, but here I am with 11 or 20 great athletes now with our JV players being pulled up and it's just an awesome ride. So we're hoping to keep it going and hopefully get another state title. Congratulations on this. We'll see you at the state tournament next week. Thank you. <laughs> Katie Kelsenberg, Olivia Jesuits and the rest of the Avery Jesuits and the rest of this team enjoying a section championship tonight. They play terrific and they sweep Champlain Park to go to state at 31-0. They'll play in the state quarterfinals next Wednesday at 1 p.m. at XL Energy Center. For Andy Gugisberg and all of our crew, I'm John Jacobson. Thanks so much for watching our coverage of the Section 5 4A title match.